Hey, welcome to PR Learning Lab. My name is Simran Nadial and today in this video we are going to continue learning about the tools available in the Adobe Illustrator. Before I start, I kindly request you to please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. In the previous tutorial, you have learned about the tools available. If you haven't watched the previous tutorial yet, you will find the link in the description below. So, let's start. Now, the next tool you are going to learn is the Blend tool. Its shortcut is W. Blend tool can help you to create impressive color blends. Blend tool is a super awesome tool. It is used to create some awesome effects. So let's get started. I am going to make a circle. And now I am going to take a copy of this circle by pressing and holding Alt key and drag. I am placing this circle here. And I am going to give it a different fill color. Now select both the circles and then select the blend tool. Now just click on this circle first and then click on the another circle. Here you go. Like this the blend tool will blend the colors together. Another way to blend two colors together is just select both the shapes then go to the object menu and here select blend and make like this now i'm going to make a rectangle and again i'm going to take a copy of this rectangle by pressing and holding the alt key and just drag now select both of them and just double click on the blend tool to open its dialog box. You can also open this dialog box by going to the object menu here. First select the shapes then go to the object menu and here blend and blend options. And here first option is spacing. And here you can see specified steps. It means that how much shapes you want in between your start shape and the end shape. Here you can set the number of shapes you want. For example, here I want three shapes. So I will select this and I will enter here three and click OK. Like this. Now next is the specified distance. It means that how much distance you want in between the shapes and from here you can decide the orientation. So like this only you can use the blend tool. Now the next tool is the symbol sprayer tool. Its shortcut is shift s. When you right click on this tool you will find the other tools also. These tools are related to symbols. So let's start with the symbol sprayer tool. So as the name suggests, symbol sprayer tool is used to spray the symbols. So first I am going to open my symbol library. Just go to the window menu and here symbols. So this is the symbol panel. Here you can see few symbols. When you just click here and select open symbol library, you can find here different sub panels of the symbol. For example, if you want to use flowers, you can select here flowers. If you want to use nature, you can select nature. So in flowers, for example, I want to use this one. So just select the symbol and drag here like this. 
Now just select the symbol and then select the symbol sprayer tool. Now just click hold and drag. Like this. You will be able to spray the symbol. You can also increase or decrease the size of the symbol sprayer tool by pressing the square brackets in the keyboard. Left square bracket will decrease the size of the tool and right square bracket will increase the size. So you can spray the symbol like this. You can select any of the symbols from here. This tool is very very easy and very useful. So like this you can use this tool. Now here next comes the symbol shifter tool. This tool is used to shift the symbols. For example, these are the symbols here. Just select them and then select the symbol shifter tool. Now just click hold and drag like before. Like this. This tool helps to shift and move the symbols. So this is how you can use this tool. Now the next tool is the symbol scruncher tool. It helps to gather symbols together. Just select the symbols and then select the tool. And just click hold and drag. Like this it will gather symbols together. If you press and hold alt key and then click hold and drag symbols will get separated like this. So this is how you can use this tool. Now the next tool is the symbol sizer tool. It helps to increase or decrease the size of the symbol. Just select the symbol and then select the tool. If you just click hold and drag it will increase the size of all these symbols. If you want to increase the size of a single symbol, just click hold on that symbol. Like this. If you want to decrease the size, just press and hold the alt key and click and hold on that symbol. Like this. So this is how you can use this tool. Now the next tool is the symbol spinner tool. It helps to rotate the symbol. For example, I am taking a symbol from 3D symbols. Now just select the symbol and then select the tool. Now just click hold and drag to rotate like this so like this you can use this tool to rotate the symbol now the next tool is the symbol stainer tool it helps to fill color in the symbol like this is a symbol now just select the symbol and then select the tool now select any of the color and just click on the symbol like this. You can pick any color like this. So this is how you can use this tool. Now the next tool is the symbol screener tool. It helps to reduce the opacity of symbol. Now just select the symbol and then select the tool. Just click once on the symbol to reduce its opacity. Like this. The more you will click on the symbol the more opacity will get reduced. Press and hold the alt key and then click on the symbol to get back the original symbol. Like this. Now the next tool is the symbol styler tool. 
it helps to style symbol by graphic styles so first we have to open the graphic style panel just go to the window and here graphics style click here and select open graphic style library from here you can choose any of the graphic style now i am taking this symbol here and select the symbol then select the styler tool then just select any of the graphic styles i am choosing here neon effects now just select any of the graphic style and then click on the symbol like this symbol will get styled by the graphic styles so like this you can use this tool thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel